Hello and welcome to the Event Manager blog video series. This video is brought to you by EventMB, the number one blog for event professionals. Hi there, Xander Castro here with EventMB. Today, I wanted to introduce you to the three T's that are essential to being a successful event pro. As event planners, we kind of act like the wizard behind the curtain, pulling all the levers and making sure that everything is running the way that it's supposed to be. There are thousands of small details on every single event that we need to be sure to manage, and in order to do so, there are three key things that we need to possess. The tools, the team, and the temperament of every successful event professional. Let's dig into these three T's a little bit deeper. The first one is the tools. Think of a tool that you use every single day as an event professional that you couldn't live without. You might be thinking of a computer or an AutoCAD program, maybe even a tape measure. What about your cell phone, or for those that still use it, a Rolodex? Here are a couple of other tools that you can add to your arsenal, whether it be in your office or at, on site at an event. First, a file management system. How do you manage your thoughts? How do you organize your files? If you have a solid file management and organization system, you're going to be able to save yourself both time and money by being more efficient and being more organized. How about a calendar? There are a few things that are more important than an up-to-date schedule that's easily accessible. Have you ever double booked a meeting and then had to call and apologize to the person because you needed to reschedule? Having a great calendar tool is a way to fix that problem. What about a bag of cords? You may need an extra HDMI, VGA cable, a 35 millimeter jack. You never know when they're gonna come in handy. Finally, what about your cell phone loaded with all these different apps and programs that you're able to use so that you can track things like weather, traffic, flights, or any number of other things. Don't forget to have an extra battery and a couple of chargers laying around. Next, let's take a look at your team. There is no tool out there that's going to be able to replace the value of a great team. You need independent contractors, vendors, staff, and colleagues that you're going to work with to be able to support you on the event no matter the size or budget. Invest in those people. Send them to conferences, training sessions, networking events. Get them to learn the type of products that you're using, either in software or hardware, so that they can speak your language and use your vocabulary on-site at events. That's going to help eliminate any sort of confusion and maybe eliminate some of those unnecessary questions. What about your client? They're a huge part of your team. Make sure that you spend plenty of time cultivating that relationship because in turn, that's going to turn into some new opportunities in referral business. And you should know that your reputation is always going to precede you. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to this last T, your temperament. Whether you're a zany creative designer or if you are a serious and logistics-minded producer, your attitude is going to be the core of your brand as an event professional. When you walk into a room, what do you want people to expect from you? I once had a client come up to me and tell me that I was one of the calmest producers that she had ever worked with. Sure, there are some producers that are a little bit more into the super high-paced, high-energy, maybe even a little high-tension type of running a show. Uh, that's just not me. My style is to quickly and calmly address the concerns and changes that need to be made, effectively communicating that with my team and making sure that they feel supported by me. As a result, I feel supported by them, and so it, it, it's kind of a constant cycle in that sense. That style works for me, but it may not be the way that you run your events, and that is totally fine. You just need to understand your strengths and make it work with the event that you're producing. As we wrap up, Event planners are responsible for a lot of things and time and money. Each of us has a unique skill set, and the way that we do things is a little different from one another, which I think is one of the most interesting parts about this industry. We're thousands and thousands of service providers that are doing things just slightly different for a pretty similar end goal. By focusing on those three T's, your tools, your team, and your temperament, you're definitely on your way to becoming a successful event planner. Thanks for tuning into this video, the three T's of being a successful event planner. This was brought to you by Event MB, the number one blog for event professionals. Remember to subscribe to Event MB on YouTube and like us on Facebook. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like below and leave us a comment.